Hi everybody, this is Annie William. I just got done taking my Tableau exam and I thought this would be super helpful for you guys that are about to take your exam. If you've studied or if you've been playing around in Tableau for a little while and you feel ready for your exam, but you just want to hear from somebody else how their experience went, then this is the video for you. I am going to cover what surprised me in the exam, what I liked and what I didn't like, and then maybe some other tips that could be helpful for you. So let's dive into it. Some things that surprised me. The timing. The setup took longer than I thought. It took over a half an hour from the time that I started the exam to when I actually could ta start taking the questions. So that was a little bit longer than I expected. But on the flip side, the exam time limit, I was worried about that with it being an hour and uh, having 30 questions to answer. But I actually finished with 20 minutes left on the clock, so I had plenty of time to go back and double check my work. So that was actually a nice surprise. The thing that threw me a curveball when I began taking this exam was actually getting started on a question that related to example data and I wasn't quite sure where to find the example files and the structure of them. They are just on the desktop in that virtual machine that you're in and it's in like a generic folder like Tableau data files or something like that and within that folder there's a couple different folders depending on what exam you're taking so just make sure you know which exam you're taking and then you can go into there and that's where your files are located so it threw me off for a second but it wasn't really a big deal once I realized that also the other thing related to this actually was I asked the proctor actually where to find the example files and where it was located on the virtual machine just because it, it threw me a curveball, but uh, there was silence. They, I guess, don't respond to you at all if you ask them questions during the exam time, uh, which, to be fair, probably makes sense. Uh, the other thing that I heard about but was surprised that was actually true is that you can actually look up answers while you're taking the exam. In the virtual machine, you can just pull up another Firefox tab and Google search what you're looking for. So you might not have time to do that on every single question, but I definitely used that on uh, that last 20 minutes that I had to go back and double check some of my answers. So that was actually really nice, a good surprise as well. Some things that I liked, there is a feature to flag questions and come back to them later on, which was nice in terms of time efficiency and just, you know, general test taking tip strategies. And also I really liked that they changed the color. So if you answered a question versus if you didn't answer a question, they were color coded. So that was nice too for going back and uh, wrapping things up. The exam countdown was nice, like I said, so that I knew for sure how much time I had left uh, after I'd gone through that first pass. But also in the beginning, it gave you an exam countdown for when you can start your exam. And I found out that you can actually start a minute before whatever you scheduled your exam for. So my exam was at 3.30, but I could actually start at 3.29. <laughs> but it actually didn't even matter, like I said, because the time it took to set up the exam and get everything going took over a half an hour. So that one extra minute really wasn't a big deal at all. But... The last thing that I really liked was the notification that I had passed. So as soon as I was done with my exam and I clicked submit, it uh, gave me a little message saying, you know, congratulations, you have passed and you can now call yourself a Tableau certified specialist. So that was kind of cool and nice to, to have that um, notification right away. Now for some things that I disliked. It definitely brought me back to my college days of answering questions on exams and some of the phrasing of some of the questions was a little bit tricky and they also include questions that have multiple answers and they don't tell you how many options you should be picking so those can be a little bit tricky so just be careful for those another big thing that was 
actually really kind of annoying was trying to flip between the different tabs. You have your Tableau open on one side, and then on the other side, I would suggest having the questions opened. But even still, you're only allowed one screen, and so trying to go back and forth between those was kind of cumbersome. And then also, I feel bad for even putting that on here, this last one, but they do give you that option for actually searching the web while you're taking your exam. But on some of those longer articles, there's no control F to, to find something faster. So you really do have to use that scroll bar and uh, go through and find what you'd like. But again, I mean, I, I can't even really complain about that when they allow you to search the web when you're taking the exam. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, you know, give yourself some time to, you know, go through the exam and don't forget that you have those flags and use all the resources that you have and you know just relax and trust in the experience that you've had. I think that the experience working in Tableau was the biggest help for me to pass ex this exam. All those free videos on Tableau online and then YouTube videos and just work experience just working within the software those were the biggest things that helped me. I didn't take an official course or anything like that that was paid. I, you know, just did the videos and worked on it on my own and I was able to pass. So you should probably be able to do the same if you just put a little bit of effort into it. So I wish you the best of luck and hopefully this was helpful. Go get them!